Welcome to this video on Bill of Materials where we will look at an example to find out the component quantity. So the question given to us is product M is made of two units of N and three units of P. Now N is made of two units of R and four units of S. R is made of one unit of S and three units of T. P is made of two units of T and four units of U. Show the product structure tree. That means we have to build a bomb structure. And if 100 M's are required, that is the finished product, which is M, 100 M's are required. How many units of each component are needed? That means how many units of each of these components which are required to make M is then required. So first let's create the product T structure. Now it is clear that M is the finished product, right? So M will be at the top of the bomb structure. And now it says product M is made of two units of N and three units of P. So this is made of two main components. One is N, the other one is P. And each M requires two units of N. That means two will come here and three of P. So three will come here. Now N is made of two units of R. So each unit of N requires two units of R and four units of S. So N again is requiring two components. One is R and the other one is S two units of R and four units of S. Now it says R is made of one unit of S and three units of T. So again, R is made of S and T Now it says P is made of two units of T and four units of U. So P is made of two units of T and four units of U. So this is the bomb structure tree where M is made of two units of N and three units of P and then N is made of two units of R and four units of S and R is made of one unit of S, three units of T. P is made of two units of T and four units of U. So this is the structure tree for M. Now next question is if 100 M's are required. So this structure is for one unit of M. Now, let's say you are asked by the customer to provide you 100 units of M. Now, in order to manufacture 100 units of M, you will require all these components. And as you can see that there are varying quantities of these components required to manufacture M. So we need to find out what are the quantities of these components which are required to manufacture 100 M's. So let's take that here. So M is 100 units. Now M, each M or each unit of M requires two units of N. So N will be Two multiplied by the number of M's required which is 100 so this will be equal to 200. P 
is three units required for each m so p becomes three into the quantity required for m which is 100 so this becomes 300 now let's take r so r each n requires two r's now n is 200 so r will be equal to 2 multiplied by the quantity of n which is 200 so this will be equal to 400 now let's take s now s is required at two places one is s is required to manufacture n and s is also required to manufacture r so let's first take the s required for r so one unit is required for each unit of r so s is 1 multiplied by the quantity of r which is 400 so this is equal to 400 let's say this is s1 now s2 is equal to this here which is required for n so 4s is required for each n now n is 200 so 4 multiplied by 200 which is equal to 800 so now total s becomes s1 plus s2 which is 400 plus 800 which is equal to 1200 units so s we have covered now let's go to t so t is again required at two places one is to manufacture r and other to manufacture p now each unit of r requires three units of t so let's call this as t1 so this is 3 multiplied by the quantity of r which is 400 so this is equal to 1200 and t2 is two quantities required for each of p so 2 multiplied by p which is 300 so 300 and this is equal to 600 so t will be equal to t1 plus t2 which is 1200 plus 600 which is equal to 1800 units so now the last one is u so four units are required for each unit of p so four multiplied by p is 300 so 300 which is equal to 1200 so this much quantity of each component will be required in order to manufacture 100 units of m so this is how the bomb and the quantities of each of the components of the bomb or rather the finished product helps in arriving at the quantities of each of these components required to manufacture the finished product so you will basically you know either manufacture or put a purchase order for these quantities of the components.